Lots of developers feel uncomfortable when it comes to making UI, including me, by the way. UI is just... Ugh. And it's not like it's difficult to make ammo counter or health bar. That part is easy. You start designing UI and it looks nothing like what you had in mind. It is ugly. And then boom, you're suddenly doing anything but UI. Suddenly you are procrastinating. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with UI, where to find good and simple UI elements. And of course, I'll give you some tips that will help you to make your own UI so you can easily proceed with your project. My name is Alex. I make games and I teach you how to make them as well. Subscribe if you haven't and let's begin. To make UI, you need to get fonts, icons, preferably some background images and borders for your buttons. And I'm gonna show you where to get all of those. All of the sources can be used for free, even though they have paid features. And just so you know, it is not a sponsorship. These are the ways I used to make UI for my RPG course, Endless Runner, Platformer, Top Down Shooter, and even Tower Defense course that I'm making right now. If you want to learn how to make any of these games, links to the tutorials will be down below. So first, let's get most obvious out of the way. There is a Unity Asset Store. It looks different from time to time, but it is always easy to navigate. You choose 2D, click GUI, and then you need to scroll down over here and click Free Assets. There are lots of good options that you can use for UI, but most of the time I just end up closing it. Then there is an each.io. It is a great website and if you're a game developer, you really need to know about this one. You go browse, assets, you click free and you choose UI. And there you have it. Bunch of game ready UIs. If you're ready to spend a bit, you can switch to paid options and choice will be even bigger. Now moving on to making our own UI elements. It is great if you know what you want to have on the screen, but if you feel a bit lost, you just take a look at the games you love. Or you can browse gameuidatabase.com to get some ideas and inspiration. Just don't go far into a rabbit hole. You don't want to get a feeling that says, oh, I will never be able to make UI like that. All you need is an approximate idea of what you want to have. I usually go with my own feelings and experience, and I prefer to have minimalistic style of UI. UI with minimum elements on the screen because it's cool when you can see the game and you are not bothered by extremely annoying flashy elements from every part of the screen. Yeah, I think it's better when it's clean because games should be fun without extra entertainment in the corner. If you need a proof that simple UI works, I'm gonna give you an example of games that did it really great. Celeste is a perfect example with minimum UI elements, just icon and text. Downwell has a great simple style overall. Risk of Rain 2 using transparent backgrounds and simple text. XCOM 2 makes it easier to understand with minimalistic vector icons. And Mark of the Ninja uses goofy text, shapes and simple images. All of these UIs have very simple minimalistic style. Yeah, even if complexity of the game is big, simple UI makes it easier to grasp. This is what I'm usually going for and because I don't know how to draw anything but a fish, here is what I use to achieve what I want. It is canva.com. Again, this is not a sponsorship, I'm just sharing. Canva contact me, please. You should know that Canva has paid services, but it doesn't mean you must use them if you don't want to. Most of the things can be used for free and also you can get a trial of the pro version. So basically, you can spend zero coins to use it. And of course, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna use only features that are free. If you have a question how this even can be useful, here is the answer. You should know that in Unity, you can take basically any image and use it for UI. For that, you need to cut out corners on the image and choose sliced in the image component. Now you can change size and shape and UI will stay the same. Knowing that we just need to get a bunch of different images that we can try. And Canva is the easiest way to get them. You just need to create new design. It doesn't matter which one, you just need to have resolution of 9020 by 1080. Remember, we need something simple here. Now we change color of the background to black and you will know why in a second. And then we just go to elements over here and use search field. You type borders and you simply browse and choose what you like. Once you found something that could work, make sure you change its color to white. Because Unity allows you to change white color to any color there is. So you keep browsing and collecting elements. Just remember that not every option will be perfect. And your goal is to grab something that could work. And then you need to see if it works. You could also use simple shapes and lines to create your own UI elements. These are two examples that I collected before. So your goal is to make something like this. Once you've collected a sprite sheet of possible elements, you need to make them usable in Unity. If you decide to take a pro version, you can simply download it here with a transparent background. 
But if not, you need to download image as it is and then you go to erase.bg. This website allows you to remove backgrounds only twice for free, but you can open a website in a new private tab and then you'll be considered as a new user, which allows you to use services again. At the same website, you can shrink size of the image without losing quality. And also, you can upscale image if yours looks pixelated. Then you go to Unity, turn image into a 2D and cut out borders, same as I showed you before. Choose image as sliced and there you have it. UI elements that could work for your game. Switch between different options to see what you like more. Now, if you want to have icons in the UI and you don't have them yet, it all depends on the style of the game you have. If you have pixel art in your game, you can browse each.io for icons. You can search for them on Pinterest or even ask ChatGPT to generate them. Warning about using ChatGPT though. While you may get a couple of good icons out of it, it struggles to generate a set of images with a consistent art style. If you have a 3D game, finding suitable art can be a challenge. So this is what I usually do. You can take things you have in the game and turn them into an image. Place your model in this scene, then switch to 2D view over here, flip your model so you can see it, then create new material, then on your model replace all materials with a newly created material, then choose this material and add a bit of a mission. Then you have to make a screenshot so you can use this item as an icon. You can either remove background in Photoshop by selecting subject over here and then you need to bring image on a new layer and you can do that by pressing Ctrl Shift J and then you can delete extra layers in the corner and now you have item without background. Just don't forget to clean it up a little bit over here. Or same as before, you can use Erase.bg or Pro version of Canva. All of this works and it's only up to your preference. And I have another option for you as well. You can use simple art and vector art as an icons for your 3D game. This is what I did for my tower defense course. If you think this is a bad idea for a video game, here is League of Legends and they did use same style icons for a big event they had last summer. So simply, you go to elements again and type what you are looking for. In my case, I have a crossbow laser tower and my goal is to let player understand what tower does only by checking an icon. So I'm just going to search for crossbow, collect bunch of icons and I'm gonna cut them out same as I showed you before. Lastly, every UI needs a font. Canva has hundreds of options that you can check out and you can even take a screenshot of your game, place it in the Canva and see how it feels. And then you can just try to download that font by using Google. You can also check out pre-made text variants that you can use for the title of your game. This is how I got this title, for example. Another option would be to go to fonts.google.com. It has thousands of options and you can even type text that you want and see how it looks and feels. Choose what you like and go for it. By the way, there are icons on this website as well. And this is where I found crosshair for my top-down shooter. And obviously you can mix and match all methods above. For example, this small UI over here was created with the all methods that I mentioned. Background I found on each.io, icon was made with the help of a 3D model and then I took Canva and removed background from it and fonts I found on fonts.google.com. So it's really not that difficult to make simple UI. You just need to show a little bit of creativity. I believe in you, you can do that. Lastly, I want to say that when you're gathering UI elements, don't be too hard on yourself. Just choose what you like and go for it. Your goal is not to make best UI in the world. Your goal is to make playable UI. Don't let the UI hold you back from developing your game further. If it doesn't look great, you'll get feedback about that and you can always come back and improve it later on. If you need a feedback, don't be shy, just join my Discord, I'm sure we can help. And something else here. Usually, when you develop a UI, your game is in a pretty raw state. And when you don't have final look of the game, there is no point on wasting time perfecting UI. You may think that dark blue looks nice, but when you add new elements to the level, suddenly you can learn that UI is hardly visible now. So try to get visuals of UI of somewhat 60-80% to 80 done and see if it needs improvement later on. Now, if you want to learn how to make video games, check my website. My students usually are very happy with their results. And I want to say thanks to my students and Patreons and give special thanks to Gianni Moroni and Dynast.